Thanks, Ben. Well, our stretch of cloud cover and occasional drizzle has started a lot of mornings off with some fog as well. And that might have left you wondering, how does fog form and why does it form when it does? Well, let's talk all things fog on this week's Weather IQ. How fog is formed actually has a lot to do with this map that you see us use a lot, the dew point map. Now, fog occurs when the temperature at the surface matches up with the dew point value. What this means is the air near the surface is saturated and it can condense to form fog. Now, there's actually several types of fog, eight to be specific, but here in central Georgia, we most commonly see three main types, radiation, precipitation, and advection fog. Now, radiation fog occurs at night when the ground simply cools off enough to reach the dew point. For this to happen, the winds need to be calm and it can help when there's been rain the previous night. The next type that we commonly see is precipitation fog. This occurs when there is rain falling on dry, cold air at the surface, and the rain evaporating causes the dew points to rise and fog is able to form. And finally, we have advection fog, which, as opposed to radiation fog, can only occur with windy conditions. So this type of fog occurs when a warm wind blows over a cold, moist surface, and the contact between the two causes the dew point to rise and forms fog. So maybe the next time that you're driving through some fog, you can impress the other passengers in the car by showing off some of your newfound fog knowledge. With your Weather IQ, I'm meteorologist Ansley Parker.